panelists, we are here to present to you our research proposal entitled Pedal Powered Ditch Shredder Cycling Things to Organic Mulch. To formally start, let me introduce to you our group. My name is Casey Franco together with my co-researchers, Mr. Aguilera, Mr. Camitan, Mr. Sacolo, Ms. Maderazzo, Ms. Mercado, and Ms. Tolentino. So nowadays, solid waste management is a major challenge in many developing countries like the Philippines. In fact, according to the National Solid Waste Management Status Report, the yearly amount of waste is expected to increase from 13.48 million tons in 2010, 14.66 million tons in 2014, and 16.63 million tons in 2020. So in relation to this, the strong option to households which is offered by the government is collection services. However, due to lack of financial services, this collection services or practice of solid waste management is only offered to a new is only offered to a few number of households. So in line with this, according to the research which was conducted by the researchers, it was found out that majority of the respondents in Barangay Banay Banay 1 practices waste burning which of in which 47.2% of the population practices this waste management. It was also observed during the ocular visit that dry leaves comprise the large portion of the waste being burned. So, however, this waste management practices has negative effects to the environment and public health, according to the National Center for Atmospheric, for Atmospheric Research. So, in line with this, the researchers aim to achieve the following objectives. Number one is to eliminate, if not lessen the practice of waste burning, and to introduce the use of shredded dry leaves as an organic mulch. So with this, the group came up with a hypothesis that there is no significant difference between soil with mulch and without mulch in regards to plant and leaf growth. So to give you more details on our study, here is Ms. Ayala Tulentino. Thank you, Ms. Casey The scope of this study is to design and propose a product that will enable the household of Barangay Banay Banay first to practice proper solid waste management. Findings from the study entitled the relationship between the level of knowledge and solid waste management practices of household in Barangay Banay Banay 1, San Jose Batangas, will be used as a basis for addressing the issue of poor solid waste management. However, the study will not cover the air quality analysis and related health problems that is caused by waste waste burning. Aside from this, the respondents the rest Sorry. Aside from this, the responses in surveys of 36 residents will give, may not reflect the state of other areas. Hence, conclusion of this study were limited only to the samples and variables used. Creating this project will be significant to De La Salipa, as the project proponents will be able to take steps in doing the La Salian mission of building a society founded on sustainable and inclusive development. Second, senior high school committee will be provided with knowledge on with knowledge on the, on the existing problems in the community. In addition, the study could challenge them to, chi to channel scientific research into engineering design. Third, to the barangay officials, as the study can be used as a basis in delivering services and designing waste management system. And being the recipients of the project which could be implemented, the residents will be given an opportunity to live and to live in an eco-friendly and healthy environment. The research will also provide them with awareness that their community has poor solid waste <coughs> management, which have adverse effects to their health and to the environment. Lastly, this study can serve as a guide for future researchers in designing a similar project. Now, here is Ms. Eka Maderazzo to discuss to you the theoretical background. Thank you, Ms. Ala Tolentino. The theoretical basis of this paper is the waste management theory that was introduced by Case K. Congress and Philip Glass in 2004, wherein four waste classes has been defined by Congress and Pondola in 1997, as cited by Case K. in 2004. Class 1, non-wanted things created, not intended, or not avoided. Class 2, things that were given a finite purpose just to seem to become useless after fulfilling it. Class 3, things that will well define purpose but their performance is being acceptable due to the flaw in their state or structure. And class 4, things that will well define purpose and acceptable performance but their user fails to use them in their intended purpose. 
Consequently, the theory of waste management is based on the consideration that the waste management aims to prevent waste from causing harm to human health, environment, and that the application of waste management leads to conservation of resources. So for a of definition of terms, bubot. Bubot refers to the young or small fruit. In this study, the number of bubots will be one of the determinants on plant growth in the spermatophical pattern. B. Incineration. Incineration is a waste process in which combustion in which combustion is involved. Combustion of organic substances contained in waste material, mulch, is a waste material spread around or over a over a plant to enrich or to enrich or insulate salt. So, pedal power leaf shredder. Pedal power leaf shredder is a simple machine that used for cutting dry leaves. In this study, pedal power leaf shredder is a proposed product of the researcher to prevent leaf burning in the community. So here's McLean Mercado to further discuss the related literature. Thank you, Ms. Madarasa. In our previous study, it was found out that majority of the residents in Barangay Banay Banay Persanaset practices waste burning. However, according to Ong 2015, it was estimated that biomass burning produces 40% of carbon dioxide, 32% of carbon monoxide, and 50% of polycyclic achromatic hydrocarbons, which pose negative effects to health and environment. First, too much carbon dioxide um, can lead to global warming and destruction of ozone layer. Meanwhile, when carbon dioxide binds with the hemoglobin of red blood cells of a person, it <coughs> produces oxygen in the blood. With these negative effects on waste burning, the group aims to introduce an alter, an, a, a, as much as an alternative way to manage leaf waste. According to Flannery and Flower, using leaf as a mulch is valuable because it makes the soil more friable, therefore easier to cultivate. Mulch also reduce soil compaction due to rain and irrigation water and reduce rainfall runoff, thereby making more water available for plant growth. Improving these benefits, an actual study was also conducted by Mangard in which he tested the soil nutrients in some plants. In this study, it was found out that mulch had, an, mulch had a positive effect especially on soil moisture during drier periods. It was concluded that soils with organic mulch treatment contained more moisture than those without treatment during long periods of without rain. In the same line, Joe Daujin also found out in his study that using organic mulch as a soil cover is effective in increasing Soil quality and improve, in improving soil quality and increasing crop yield. Thus, using dry leaves as organic mulch is effect is beneficial in improving soil quality and serves as a alternative way to manage leaf waste. That's all. Now here is Mr. Kamita to present operational tender. Thank you, Ms. Mercado. So, figure one shows the input process output paradigm which would be which would be used in the study. As can be seen, observation from the other study and survey result under proper waste management practices and list of materials that will serve as the initial data in creating the product. In addition, since experimental research will be conducted, the independent and dependent and controlled variables are included in the input. Prior to the experiment to be conducted, the presence of mulch on one of the potted plants will serve as the independent variables. As for the dependent variables, the growth of plants and the number of weeds that will grow in each pot will be measured in the experiment. Meanwhile, the variables which, be, which will be kept constant include the amount and frequency in watering the plants, watering the watering the plant's temperature and amount of sunlight to be received by the plants. As for the process, the research will be made to support the features of the product pedal power deep shredder. Then a low fidelity and high fidelity prototype of the product to the residents. When approved, the product will be presented to the community and encourage the residents to use the pedal power deep shredder. 
and prior to this, here is Mr. Saulo to present the, the, the details of the product. Thank you, Mr. Damita. The main objective of this project is to give the residents of Barangay Banay Banay First Group 4 an opportunity to practice proper solid waste management through the proposed product called Metal Power Deep Shredder. Prior to this, let me present to you the low fidelity prototype of our product. Basically, this product is fully mechanical and avoids the use of electricity, in which makes it environment friendly. Since the legs are doing the work, its efficiency will be maximized compared to other manual shredders. Inside this simple machine, there are two cutting wheels which shreds organic materials. Bicycle cranks are then connected to the cutting wheels and directly driving the unit. Dry leaves which are fed into the top will be shredded and be split up from the bottom. Finally, the result can be used as an organic mulch which can be put on the surface of the soil. And in line with this, experimental research will be conducted by the researchers in order to support the benefits of using shredded red leaves as an organic mulch. And here is Mr. Dickerson to present the methodology. Thank you, Mr. Sakolo. So, methodology. So, this study will utilize a uh, true experimental research design, which according to Center of Innovation in Teaching and Research, is used to determine or to investigate casual relationship. This method will use to uh, determine if there's a significant relationship with the soil with mulch and without mulch, where in plant growth and with control will be the basis. In line with this, there will be a criteria to be followed in doing this experiment. There will be the two cat cat plants. The one with mulch will be called the experimental group. The one without mulch will be called the collection group. Both plants will be placed in the same setting to eliminate, if not lessen, the environmental problems that may affect the plants. And both plants will be treated the same, like having the exact same water, like 300 ml of water in the 8 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. And we have decided to use the cat cat plants because of its characteristic, like um, fast growing, can easily be planted, and very convenient to us. For the collection of data, the number of bubot or baby fruits, the plant height and number of leaves will be measured. The convenience sampling will be applied in this study. For, lastly, for the interpretation of data, the means and t-test will be the statistical tools of this study. The number of bubot, plant height and um, number of leaves will, um, will be divided into the number of days the experiment takes place. While on the other hand, t-test will use to determine if there's a significant relationship between the soil with mulch and without mulch. That would be all. So may I request my core researchers to come in front with me for the questions. Okay, very good. <coughs> it, it seems that you really know what you are doing. Now, particularly when I look at the end of the presentation, you have there the time, when to put water on the plants, no? you have the eight and the four. So uh, I, I will just... Uh, suggest that instead of using the collection term, yeah, you have to use control. So I know that you you will be doing fine because you know what should be gathered and what should be determined. At the end, Mr. Aguilera, when we talk of t-test, it's not the relationship but you are to look at the differences. Now, you have to see if there is really a difference between uh, with much and without much. Okay, very good. Okay, so when I look at the presentation, it seems that you did not include in the operational definition the terms that could be found in the title. So you have there the definition of pedal power lift, that's correct, shredder. And then uh, I've noticed lang that there's no definition of what cycling lives is all about. So you have to include it in the operational definition and what organic means. So meron kayong definition of mulch but what is organic, okay? So, for the sake of asking question, but I really commend you for doing that uh, doing that product no, or, or project. So, for the sake of asking question, can you please elaborate why do you have to use the theory of waste management, which is the basis of your paper? The theoretical uh, theory of waste management is to, I know, it's, it's the aim aims to pre prevent waste from causing harm to human health. Elaborates how waste management prevent causing harm to 
Human Health, Environment, and to promote resource optimization po. And in relation with your paper? In relation with our paper, because the, in relation with our paper po, yung, yung, bad, yung knowledge po na makukuha namin dun sa TUV ay magagamit po namin dun sa, sa pinaka-basis po siya ng paper namin on how, on how we can solve the problem on solid waste management po sa barangay. Particular community, especially the, during the ocular visit, you can continue? The solid waste management theory is also about the principle of creating products. It is also about the principle that should be applied by industry. So in creating products, um, the materials to be used should be eco-friendly and our product um, uses materials which can be recycled if it be it, if, if it will be destroyed, the materials can be recycled. Okay, so that is the basis of your paper, the theory of waste management. Okay, so looking at the product itself, have you, uh, are you planning or are you preparing that, that uh, procedure now? I mean, are you doing it in the actual uh, setup or is it a plan? We are already. We already finished making the product. However, we are not able to present it because um, we returned it to the shop because there, um, there is Question. there is something that still needs to be fixed. Okay. So, how about the preparation of the cat cat? Do you have it? We already have the cat cat plants and we are about to start. Okay. Meaning, you you bought a cat cat plant. Um, May puno na po talaga kami. Yung maliliit po na po. Ah, okay. So, you will just simply getting to? Dalawa lang ba ang mag-aaral? Yes. Okay. So, sa ang bahay? Kanyang yung bahay sa inyo? So, kayo, ikaw yung magbibili? Okay. Oo, kasi di ba we will not going back to the community. So, yun na lang talaga ang ma-observe kami. Okay, good luck. No? So, I really commend your your, your top school. So, sayang nga lang, hindi ko nakita yung yung actual shredder na pinatawag. Na, pero looking at the, the picture, it seems that it is made up of aluminum. Aluminum na? Ano tawag? Ano? G-I sheets. G-I sheets. So parang yero for sure. Uh, and then you will do it manually? Pedal. Ah, hindi ko nakita yung pedal. May pedal ba? Tingnan ko nga. So, ang taga-pedal yung mga lalaki. And that is miss the, one of the features of our product because compared to manual ah, shredders. Ay, nasa naupuan. Saan naupo? So, ipepedal? Di ba dapat nakaupo pag nagpepedal? Discard the push na kaya dapat pumapa. Na-abit po. Ah, so pwedeng ganito ko tapos na kaganon na? Ah, ganon? Di ba mahirap yun? So, pwede nyo naman siguro i-innovate pa yan kaya lang kung sa taas sa upuan yung parang bike, pwede ba yun? Kaya lang, it will, it will take another costing na ulit. So, discapi nyo na lang kung paano nyo ipipedal. You know? Mababa lang po. Mababa lang po. Where will you get the, the leads? So, sa bahay din nila? May dryers na din. Ah, nangulat na kayo ng dryers. Because they tried it. Already tried it. Ah, na-turn nyo na ha? Yes. But there are some complications. Oh, like what? Um, the distance of the blades. The distance of the blades. Ah, yung yung blades. Yung blades by out of ano? Sheets. Ah, sheets din. Kapinat lang. Ah, so ang problema, yung distance niya, malaki, malaki pa rin yung nasi-shred. So anong gagawin nyo ngayon? Ah, kaya ibinalik nyo siya. Ah, okay. So you will have, siguro, shorter distance. Anak, so, so that the leaves will be really shredded, parang ganon. Nakatawa, ano? Anyway, sige, good luck and congratulations. Thank you, Paul.